His Royal Highness is merely baby Cambridge no more. Two days after arriving, he has a name truly fit for a king as the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge have dubbed him George Alexander Louis. ABC's Amy Robach in Bucklebury, England this morning with more on the name and so much more. Amy, good morning to you. That's right, Josh. Good morning to you. The guessing game is finally over. The palace telling ABC News that they like the name, quote, no more, no less, which I believe translates over in America to it is what it is. We are here in Kate's hometown where the new royal family is beginning their lives together without help from a nanny or a midwife. But Kate has something even better than that. Her mother, Carol Middleton. His Royal Highness Prince George Alexander Louis of Cambridge. After two days, finally a name. William and Kate beat his parents who took a week to name him. The name a tribute to the Queen, whose father was King George and whose middle name is Alexandra. She visited yesterday, along with Uncle Harry and Pippa also stopped by. Prince William and Kate now anxious to spend some alone time with their little boy George. Very emotional and it's such a special time. I think any, any parents, I think, probably know what this feeling feels like. So. Very special. William and Kate took no time before they headed out to Kate's parents' house in Buckleberry, away from the prying eyes of the media. Prince George getting his first taste of security of his life to come. The family's home reportedly secured by a perimeter of armed policemen on horseback with a helicopter standing by. For now, Kate's priority and Prince William's too. Seems to be some good old grandma time. William and Kate expected to spend three weeks in Buckleberry based on parking restrictions posted near the home. Later, William returns to work to make some decisions about his future given his increasing royal duties. The prince, the future king, doesn't get a day more. Some people had other ideas. I personally think it should be called Tyrone. <laughs> Why Tyrone? Because it's my name. <laughs> <laughs> William and Kate have made it clear since their wedding they intend to do things their way, on their terms. Respectful of royal tradition, but real role models for the new modern monarchy. It's good. Certainly there are a lot of diapers ahead in William's near future and a real chance for this 21st century couple to share parenting duties as hands-on parents. And Josh, we have obtained ABC News exclusively some computer imaging that we worked on all night long to find out what Prince George may look like when he gets older. And if we can please put the picture up right there, we can tell you that he may have a future in television news. That's true. Josh. It's very true, Amy. Yeah, <laughs> but a closer look think, makes me think that that looked an awful lot like Prince Tyrone. So, I, 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 you know, Prince George, it, it shall be. Amy Robach, thank you. It has a ring to it, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, as, as the news cycle continues.